since 1996-ish, right? Started off in the agency world, um, started my own agency before 9-11. I was like, oh, I'm balling, I figured it out, I didn't save any money. <laughs> Everything, I go back to work, uh, work, crossover on the corporate side, on, uh, went to Accenture, their RPO division where I finally figured out that Corporate recruiters don't really recruit because you have meetings and can you, have, you have all sorts of things. I'm like, oh, that's why we make money on the staffing side and recruiting side because you guys are too busy. Um, and then I was lucky enough to work for some cool, I worked for some cool places, USAA, um, Zappos in Vegas, uh, where I started a sourcing team. And we're going to talk about a project here. And now I'm, I'm lucky enough to be at Rackspace in San Antonio. So that's just a little bit of a background. Um, so the, the topic is, is talent community. So how many of you have heard talent community or talent network before? Do any of you guys have one installed at your present? Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Okay, fresh mind. So let me just give you a little bit of background. There's a lot of controversy about talent communities and talent network. People like in the other room, they get all upset. Ah, for years. So th this is, we've been talking about this for years, okay? I did a little bit of research, um, and the first uh, reported time I could find the word talent community used was in uh, year 2000, um, they started talking about it. And then um, Jobs2Web was the first vendor that I can find, uh, and Jobster, around 2006, I found out, I went to the web archives, and they actually had it out there, they were selling it, right? No one knew what it was. What it really was was just job alerts, which now our ATSs can do. But I guess, let me... Stop being ADD and let me follow this a little bit. So everyone, when you have an apply button, you go to apply to a job. If you Google parentheses, join my talent network, close parentheses, you're going to find 25 pages of people that have talent networks, OK? Join our network, join our network, join our network, right? And they usually compete right next to the apply button, which I'm not a huge fan of. But uh, so people join, right? Like my mom probably joined one of someone's talent community not knowing what it is, all right? So they join it, and what it really is, I made this thing up. Uh, if I knew a talent community was really just spam and job alerts, I wouldn't have joined. So I want to say, you guys have not implemented one. I want to hopefully get these fresh minds and realize, don't just buy one, an add-on, or buy a talent community and network until you, some things have happened, because it's going to go wrong bad. Okay, most companies, they get it. They fill up, you want to fill it up, no one's manning it, they're under-resourced, and you've turned what you thought was going to be a great experience into a bad one. So now my mom has hit the talent network, and you haven't sent her anything. There is no community, right? So when we look at the word community, online communities, we think of people who come together and they're sharing something, right? I mean, when you think of any kind of community, whatever it may be, it's, we have a shared interest, we're going to learn from each other, and hopefully some kind of experts, and that's what we're going to get, right? Well, that thing you're going to hook up to your ATS doesn't do that. There's only about two vendors that do it right, and you can make one, which we're going to show you how to do, or at least show you a version of it. Um, what you're probably really going to be buying is what's called a talent network. Okay, a talent network, how many of you have signed up for an email subscription? Sign up for the email subscription, right? Whether it's a clothes or a car, I don't know, whatever it is that, that you do, you, you put your email address in, they say, are you sure? And you get a weekly email, right? That's what you're buying. Okay, you're just going to spend six figures on an email subscription platform that you can buy for $19 a month by companies who do it really, really well, like Constant Contact, MailChimp, AWeber, Infusionsoft. Okay, so if I were to go back in time, I would just do that. Because you're, you're going to end up buying, you're going to end up buying an email marketing sign-up form, right, which is free right now. It ties to a list, you know, my college interns go here, my people from New York office go here, right? And then we're going to email, right? That's an email newsletter. You can buy that right now. Get a free trial. And it, it, they do a really good job. They even automate the emails. And they track and they target. But then your vendor, oh, by the way, does anyone own or is a CEO of a talent community here? Sweet. So then they're going to sell you. It's not just an email marketing tool. It's a CRM. See, it's all tied into one. Okay? Um, and then you have your ATS. So you're asking people not ready to apply, right? If they apply, they get they go, ooh, right to your ATS. 
And if you Google it, it's like, get the inside scoop. Become a part of our community, right? That's what you're telling them is going to happen. So they apply. They go to your newsletter. They go into your CRM. And then there they live in this database next to the other database that no one uses. And there they are. And your recruiters are on LinkedIn. And they're on Guild. And they're on Sourcing. And there are all these people that, that are coming in. So these are people, right? Stadiums full of people coming in through your door. You've asked them to either apply or join a community. This is a one, you know, when they go to the apply to your ATS, that's candidate experience, okay? That's Crispin, and I'm a, a very passionate about that, but we have to kind of save that for another day. This is your talent community, right? So before you buy one of these tools, or, you know, we can just make one for probably 80 bucks a month, a real good one, um, figure out why Whatever you're going to try to solve a problem, what's the problem we're trying to solve? I'm going to go over a case study, a real life case study um, that I, had, I was lucky enough to do at Zappos. But what is the problem we're trying to solve? The reason we started Talent Communities, I say we, um, the reason these people started Talent Communities was it was supposed to be a pipeline of qualified candidates. That's what it was. When I'm talking to um, Marvin Smith, who's been implementing talent communities uh, since 2001 at Microsoft, hundreds of talent communities, that's all he does. And I have a quick excerpt. And um, um, Mary Lynn DeBerg, who was the first woman of uh, Silicon Valley, she owns, a, uh, she owns a talent community firm. We have vendor, we have a vendor in the house. Mm -hmm. no, so uh, <laughs> so um, I, I asked them, because I didn't just want y'all getting my uh, viewpoint. So I asked them, hey, what is, a talent community. So just so y'all get another perspective. Mm, great question. Um, for me, a talent community is a, an interactive group of, of people that we've targeted. So I think of it as a, as, you know, say, you know, cybersecurity professionals. So it's, it's a targeted specific kind of affinity. And we try to bring value and we try to bring some relevance to their professions in that community and the beauty of a community is that people can all speak to one another and, it, and it's an interactive part of it. Um, the, the talent network which most people are calling a community uh, really isn't um, doesn't involve a lot of conversation it's really a, a place that uh, started with you know kind of jobs to web made it famous with sending out job alerts and uh, you know a lot of people still do that and call it a community but as Dr. Phil says um, you can put feathers on a dog <laughs> but that still doesn't make him a chicken. I'm asking everyone what is a talent community to you? When, when you when people ask you what is a talent community what do you think it is? Okay so a talent community is a virtual space that you create on your website. Okay look at it as a virtual lobby or club of sorts that enables you to welcome potential candidates who are interested in your company whether or not you have a job opening okay and where you can also invite people who applied to jobs in the past and they can reconnect with you so the purpose of that of talent community is to power a proactive uh, recruiting strategy Okay. And I would say, if you allow me to add, a talent community represents a new generation of CRM, okay. candidate relationship management, uh, except that traditional CRMs are only one-sided relationship. Right. Uh, and the primary purpose of a talent community is to power a two-sided relationship. 